Hello, this is old Mr. Kent, and the purpose of flying this, uh, making this flight, is because I want to get some landscape shots to try to use as background in my website. If you watched the last video, I was remodeling my website to make it more user-friendly, and I thought I'd, I need to get a better background. And then also in my last video, I was uh, showing, um, uh, coming back from my e-bike ride, showing how I picked up the mail, uh, and we started doing that recently. So I was, uh, I was the mailman. Well, the sad story, <laughs> as you all know, uh, if you fly a drone, you don't charge up the battery and get it all uh, ready to go and then take it right out and go fly with it because it gets warm on the inside when you're charging it. And if it's warm on the outside, you know it's a lot uh, warmer, should I say hotter, on the inside. So you let that all cool off because as you're using it, it warms up s some more. Anyway, so uh, same thing is true with batteries on uh, on e-bikes <laughs> and so what i had done it might have been that same video uh, my battery was getting low in the morning when i came home from my ride so i just uh, pulled the bike over by my son's shop and uh, plug it in outside the building there and uh, put it on charge and that's that i've done that before and so you know it worked fine so uh but on that particular day it got up to 95 degrees. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know what's going on down there. They're hauling stuff along this road because they're going to be widening it. And uh, so we we'll, we'll, we'll got to prepare for that. And maybe they're going to fix up our road out there a little better. Anyway, so um, put my bike on charge. And now we're at the season of the year when it's always warm outside. Right now it's about 97, 98 degrees. And uh, on the day that I plugged my e-bike in to charge, uh, I think it was 95 degrees pretty much all day long. Now, the, the manual says to charge that battery when it's uh, a maximum of 70 degrees. <laughs> well, so I'm charging the battery, and it's, uh, it's, na it's 95 degrees, which is about 25 degrees hotter than it's supposed to be. So anyway... Uh, <clears throat> so that was fine. It's, you know, if I would have just charged it, it would have been okay. But in the middle of the day, uh, well, actually it wasn't, it was around 10 o'clock or so. And my wife had a, a birthday card she wanted to get mailed. And so, uh, and she wanted to get it in the mail because she was running out of time and she wanted to have it mailed, uh, you know, when the, when the mailman came to pick up the mail. And so, uh, I thought, oh, I can just run that over to the mailbox. So I r ran outside with the letter, uh, pulled the bike off of charge, uh, got on the bike, started riding down the road in 95 degree weather. Now remember, the battery was already 95 degrees plus. So after I got about 500 feet down the road, everything stopped. <laughs> As it turned out, uh, I burned up one of the cells in the battery. It's a 54 volt battery. So when I took it in the house, uh, and, or took it into shop and measured it, it was only 27 volts, so I had to buy a new battery. And you'll never believe how much a battery for that e-bike cost. <laughs> it's not quite half the price of the e-bike. So anyway, uh, so as I was returning to come home, I thought I better check the road, because I had just ridden up this road in my last video to check the mail. And what they're doing, if you watch that video, is they're widening the road. Um, as you can see where the, the water truck is going along, that's where they're going to be doing a lot of the digging and, and uh, you know, plowing and things like that. And it creates a lot of dust. And it's against the law to, uh, to create a lot of dust continually uh, when you're doing construction down here. So they have to... Uh, keep the keep the dust down so that's what that water truck is doing and you can see the dark area there that's where they're going to be widening the road and they're starting at this end um because uh at the, it, it, right down there where the where the the damp part stops the road actually gets a little bit wider <clears throat> and so this is the this is the part that needs it needs it the most <laughs> so anyway um so I'm waiting for my battery to come. It's uh, I haven't been able to ride my e-bike ever since that day. 
And so I'm kind of missing my exercise. Plus, if I wanted to go see something that was going on, uh, I don't drive a car, so I just have to sit home. So anyway, that's the sad, sad story of my e-bike. It's sitting out there <clears throat> waiting for a new battery. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm sitting in here making videos waiting for a new battery. So anyway, there's the road construction that uh, is taking place. And uh, that's the story behind my, my uh, e-bike problems. And I don't know, it's, uh, I'm expecting it, I'm expecting the, the battery like within the next week or so. So it's going to be a while before I can, can uh, do any more e-bike riding. So anyway, that's the sad story. Uh, there's the upgrade on the, or the update on the widening of the road. And <clears throat> everything else is fine. It's warm down here in Arizona right now. Uh, it's going to get a little bit warmer <laughs> as time goes by. By the way, this is, this is being made, this video is being made on June 21st, which is what they call the longest day of the year. It's the summer solstice. And uh, just for your information, sol is a Latin word for sun, and, and st the solstice means it stands still. So all springtime since last Christmas, uh, the sun's been setting further and further north every day. Now it's going to turn around and uh, head back. So as I, as I uh, head home and go down, turn to go down my street, I want to thank you for watching my video, and God bless. <music>